What's going on, everyone? It's Corey here from the Break Evens, giving you another FPL video today. The season started, game week one is over. And for those who held on to Salah and put him captain, you have done very well and you have jumped ahead of everyone else. I, if you saw my post on Twitter, opted away from the Haaland and Salah um, team. It went slightly a little bit different. Um, if you haven't seen that video, um, my final, um, sorry, not the video, the post, it is on um, Twitter at BreakEvensPod where I explain my decisions there. Um, it is also on the Facebook page at The Break Evens. So those are the two main places you can find me and, of course, here on YouTube. So make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to all of those to keep up with all of the content. I did pretty well. Um, well, I was happy with my score. A few things didn't go my way, but it is what it is. Um, before we get into the video, um, I just wanted to point out that um, if you're into the NBL, so if you're from Australia and you're into NBL, the super coach has just opened for that. And we do have a league for you to join. 278946 is the code to join. Again, that is 278946. Get in there um, and make sure, um, you know, you make a squad to try and beat me. I'm not great with NBL. I don't keep up to it as, as much as I do with, um, you know, the Premier League or the AFL but it is a bit of fun. So I'm happy there. So make sure um, 278946. And speaking about AFL Supercoach, if you have not seen um, my last video on round 23, I go through that and all the captain options for this this week. Um, so make sure you don't miss out on that. So without further ado, let's get into how my team fared. Um, my thoughts and um, possible transfer that I am doing um, this week. So here we are, 65 points, which has got me ranked at 2,387,076. Better than the average. Highest was 127, but it, they've used some chips there. But this is how my team ended up. Um, so Henderson there. Two points, had two two goals scored against him, so he lost some points there. It's bound to happen with a team like, like Palace. They are good defensively, um, but Brentford were all over him and um, Brian and Buemo and um, Sade on the wings which just were too good for that Crystal Palace defence on the day. So Henderson got a two. Um, Gavardio, a seven. He got a bonus point. I think it was last night that being... Um, Monday, um, Monday night, because I'm recording this on the Tuesday. Um, so I've got that extra bonus point, which means he got a seven. Um, clean sheet against Chelsea. Wasn't as attacking, but once Kyle Walker comes back, then he will be more attacking. So right now we are just looking at clean sheet and minutes. Um, but that's okay. They have decent fixtures. It's Man City. They're a very good team. They're going to get clean sheets most times. So I was happy there. Hall with um, five. Again, happy. Um, did get a yellow, so that could have been been six. Um, let's have a look what he did. Um, so no goals or assists, but there was the clean sheet in there. So um, definitely take that from Lewis Hall. Alexander Arnold with an eight. Um, so bonus points in there. Clean sheet, even though Ipswich did play very well. Um, clean sheet, clean sheet in there. Um, a couple of his passes led to the goals that were scored for Liverpool. Um, was very good. Looked to be back in, in that right back position. Um, but was pushing up, up the ground to make make those those passes. So very happy there, and Liverpool do have the easier fixtures. Kwanzaa, a one, got subbed off at halftime, unfortunately. Um, he was looking pretty solid, I thought, but um, he did lose some one-on-one -on -one battles. Um, 
I believe it was Delap. I believe his name is um, beat him a few times. So uh, Arnie Slot went, all right, we need to lock down defensively. We'll bring on Canate and they played a lot better. So what does that mean for, for Kwanzaa? Um, I think Kwanzaa does start again. Um, but if he shows once again, that he's easily beaten by a quicker opponent, I think he'll, quickly be the second option. I think Canate will come in because he's a bigger body, stronger, and he's better on the ball. So um, annoying Kwanzaa only got the one, but hey, it is what it is. We move to the midfield. Jota with an eight, scored a goal, should have had one two minutes before that. He missed an absolute sitter, Um, but very good. Bonus points again, a clean sheet as well. Um, and he got he got subbed late, but he was past the 60 minute mark, so he, he got his two points. Very happy he started. Um, so I think he stays there for the next couple of weeks. Smith Rowe was a bit disappointing um, with the three points. Got subbed out after the 60 minutes, so he he, he got his two points there. Um, and did Fulham keep a clean sheet? I don't remember. Um, but a little bit disappointing. Um, they, they didn't really find him that much. Um, I was watching the game and he was open a few times for a pass, which he, he could have got the ball going forward into dangerous positions, but they sort of bypassed him. So i um, going to back him in again this week. I believe they have um, a good matchup. They have Leicester. Um, so going to back him in. Um, hopefully he can bounce back and get on the scoreboard. Sucker at 12. I'm glad I brought him in. So let's have a look at the fixture. One goal, one assist. Um, he got two bonus points. There was a clean sheet. Where's clean sheet? Yep, clean sheet there as well. Played 79 minutes. Exactly what you want. Um Probably should have had the captain on him, but hindsight is um, is a wonderful thing. But glad I, I, I went him. Um, and now we move to the forwards. Slanky two points. Didn't watch the game, but what I heard is he he looked decent on the ball, um, but was didn't get as many opportunities as he would have liked. The service wasn't there in this game. It's going to take a couple weeks um, potentially for him to fit the system, people figure out how he, he plays. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to back him in, um, but obviously expecting a bit more. Isaac, 10, um, got an assist. It was very unlucky because there was an early red card, um, which means he had to play a bit more defensively. So um, those attacking returns weren't always going to be there for that reason. He did get an assist, so we take that. Um, did have him as captain, so, you know, unfortunate, but it is what it is. And Harlan with seven. I always said he was a chance to, to score against Chelsea. He did. Our defense isn't great. Um, so there you have it. That's how the team was on the bench. Rogers too. So realistically, if Rogers is on for Kwanzaa, I get 66. So with the team that I had, I maxed. I basically maximized all the points I could have. And Cuckoo, apparently he looked disappointing. Um, I missed the Chelsea game. I had alarm set, but I didn't wake, wake up for him. So unfortunately, I didn't see it. But apparently, he didn't look great. Um, and it looks like we might be signing Sancho for some reason. Um, and there's someone else that I can't remember. Oh, Joel Felix um, could be on his way to Chelsea. So there is some question marks over Nkuku, but I'm going to keep him. Our, our fixtures open up. Um, so back, back him in. And then as, as soon as he's basically taken out of the side where there's rumours that he might not start, then I'll probably look to move him on. Johnson was unlucky, came on late, didn't really get going. Um I think with with Burns um, being injured, I think he starts this week. Um, a lot of people are saying he didn't start last week due to 
they were playing Liverpool, tough side. Um, so they wanted to go a bit more, um, you know, rough um, and, 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 and stronger. So that's why he didn't start, but he should start this week. All right. So just quickly looking at the changes I made to my original side. So obviously I had Salah and I changed him to Saka. So I could change Mikolenko to Trent Alexander-Arnold. So Arnold and Saka got, got 20, uh, 20 points combined. Very happy. Um, and I believe Mikolenko only got one and Salah got, was it 14, 15, 16, something like that. So those trades actually did work out. Um, so yes, I didn't have Salah to take, um, you know, take that opportunity to have a captain who scored very well, but the transfers I made, I actually got more points out of my squad. So I was happy there. I brought Rogers in who looks like he's going to study. Look, very well there. Um, Jota outscored. Um, who do I have? 7.5. I had Gordon, so he outscored him. So again, the changes I made, people scored higher. So yes, the only difference was didn't have Salah as captain. So very, very happy now. <laughs> Sorry, before I go on, I have made one transfer already. Um, I did get in before any price moves did happen. Um, so we'll get into, I'll click on pick team and you'll see um, what I did. So I'm not using any chips. No need. Um, and here is the squad. So Henderson's still in goal against West Ham. I think they'll do a lot better. Um, defensively, so he stays in there. Gavardiol against Ipswich. You could bank him in for 90. Should keep a clean sheet, so there's more points there. Hall against Bournemouth, again, should be pretty good defensively. Should be a clean sheet because um, there's no slanky there anymore. So very happy there. Arnold against Brentford. Clean sheet isn't, you know, class as a certainty, um, but they did look very, very good de defensively, especially when Kwanzaa was off. So um, I think Arnold will have opportunities to push forward, you know, potentially some um, assist points, some um, set piece points. Um, so again, another great fixture there. And as you can see, Kwanzaa is not there. I have brought in Anthony Robinson from Fulham. They play Leicester. He got two points last week, but this is a lot, um, a much easier fixture. Um, I think they get a clean sheet in this one. Um, so I'm expecting good points from him there. Shotter against Brentford, playing as the number one striker, should get some more opportunities. I think he scores again. Um, Smith Rowe against Leicester, again, an easier matchup. Could easily get on the scoreboard. Um, hopefully he does. Saka against Aston Villa is a tougher fixture, but with Arsenal, they're very good defensively, and Saka is the main guy. So I do think he could return. I wouldn't put a captain on, on him. I'm, I'm not that risky, um, but I think he could definitely um, assist or score in this game. Solanke versus Everton should find some more, more chances. Hopefully he, he banks. Um, it is a good fixture. It's just, can he put in the, in the back of the net and can their wingers and midfielders actually find him this time? Isaac against Bournemouth. Um, he, he should score just as long as no one gets red carded early. He should get opportunities. He's a natural born finisher. I think he goes and scores. And Harlan against Ipswich. He should score. Um, and I don't know why he isn't my captain, but I'm going to make him captain. And I think, 
think Isaac can stay as vice captain there. Um, as we move to the bench, it's the same. Iverson against Fulham, Rogers against Arsenal, and Cuckoo versus Wolves could definitely come on, and Johnson against Man City. So um, what I'm going to look there. So I'd, I'd probably want to try and get Nkuku on the field. Um, this is where things get a bit hard. Bringing in Ro- Robinson... It does make things a little bit harder because Fulham have good fixtures um, and so do Chelsea. We got the squad, you know, Smith Rowe is really the only one. If I was to make a change, I'd go like that. But I'm, I'm really unsure what to do. So I want to switch them back. That's the only thing that I have to really think about um, strategy-wise because 6.5, you're paying for someone to score to get those returns, not to sit on the bench. So do I keep him there for one more week? Because who do... But yeah. Fulham have have Ipswich the week after. So um, do, do Newcastle have a tough... Yep, so he'll definitely play game week three because um, Chelsea have Crystal Palace in game week three. So tough one. Something I need to figure out. Now, I've gone... Yeah, so just, just the one transfer this week, Robinson for Kwanzaa. Um, if I if if I had kept Kwanzaa, I probably could I probably would have played and Kuku over Kwanzaa just because there's some uncertainty there um, with his minutes. So that's going to be the team, and um, that those are my my thoughts on game week. Um, well, heading into game week two. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Just took you through. Um, my thoughts on on my team, um, you know, a strategy with Nkuku and Smith Rowe. Who do I play? Um, who would you play? Would you take the punt on Nkuku or would you leave Smith Rowe there knowing he's going to get around 60 minutes and could return? Um, it is a tough one. Are you making transfers this week um, or are you going to let the transfer roll over so you can make more um, in the weeks ahead because don't forget you can have up to five rolled transfers so makes things very interesting um just before you go don't forget nbl super coach 278946 is the code to join um keep an eye on facebook and twitter so at twitter on twitter it's at break evens pod and on facebook it's the break evens um, I'm going to post some potential um, buy options and sell options um, for players. So keep an eye out for that. But that's it. So um, good luck Good luck in game week two. Um, hopefully do a bit better if you had a poor week or, I mean, we always want to improve. So hopefully you do better. But if you started off well this week, hopefully you can continue that form on. Um, but until next time, it's bye for now.